This lesson is about the local terms and symbols. We can find them under admin, your organization, and over here we have the local terms and symbols. By default, it's already been set up by the defaults that Autodesk has for you. Uh, on one hand, we recommend to not change them too much because in this case, for example, company, it's listed as company. And that word is being used all through Autodesk references and also a lot of people uh, speak about it. But in your case, maybe you say, you know what, I don't call it a company. I call it a client or I call it an account. Account is also a very common used name. And you have the ability to change it here. Um, I would say account is a good one too, because I've seen that also in Autodesk sometimes coming up. Configuration item, those are the items, the assets that your client has. It's called a configuration item or CI, that's a common uh, name term. But also the word asset has been used and even more, uh, uh, yeah, detail easiest, it is an installed asset. Again, you can leave it to what it is by default. Labor, again, it's the same thing too. However, you write even the labor. Uh, RB, we don't use that one, but yeah, labor would be the most common one. Location, so that one I would say location, that's the most common use. But again, you can choose to use it as a branch or as a site. Mile, that depends on what, what kind of uh, metrics you use. Kilometer or the mile, depending on your location. Parent company, you have parent company and child companies. Again, how you want to use it. You can use it parent company, client, or even headquarters. I believe that parent account is still the, the most, uh, most obvious one. State, that is in America, it's that's a county. In other uh, countries, it could be a province, but it could also be an island or an emirate. This, again, depends uh, where is your location uh, situated. Zip code. Usually it's indeed zip code when you use it, but it could be in your area. It could be called a postal code or a postcode. And then you have the currency. Make sure that you have the proper currency set up in your system. The setup is using with the, with a dollar. It could be the euro or whatever symbol you find. As you can see, there's plenty of, uh, of currencies in the system already available. And then also to list, once you have set up that currency, then list correctly how you want to see the, the positive format, how you want to see the negative format. You see there's a couple of options on, on how to do it. I uh, hope these uh, settings all make sense. It has a little bit Excel-like uh, like the donation. Uh, but if you know about how to want, you can also use the defaults whenever you set up a, a uh, um, the value, then also make sure that you set up those negative numbers or the positive numbers. In this case, you see you have different options available there. Any questions? Let us know. Thank you. Oh, and the end for sure, big goal always to say safe once you're done.